South China Morning Post, 7th of September 2023, China forcibly increased BRICS need to be aware of geopolitics disruptive force. Six new members are joining the BRICS group. The addition of Argentina, Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates, UAE, is expected to make the grouping more representative of the growing influence of the African continent. As political and strategic factors become ingrained in their worldview, this development feeds a discussion about the viability of multilateral organizations. It heralds the birth of a more strategically aware global South. It's crucial to consider why this is occurring at this particular time. There has been a significant increase in economic and diplomatic interaction in West Asia. Former adversaries Iran and Israel are becoming closer to Gulf countries like Saudi Arabia. The region's leading countries have demonstrated their desire to exploit multilateralism's economic advantages. For instance, the UAE's decision to join the growing BRICS alliance reflects its dedication to multilateral cooperation inside and outside West Asia. It also shows how critical South American powers are beginning to recognize their growing significance in the Indo-Pacific and how they may utilize that to counterbalance China and the US. Before the BRICS meeting, the US, India, Israel, and the United Arab Emirates UAE, formed I2U2, a Middle East Quad coalition focused on security cooperation. The UAE's decision to join I2U2 before BRICS demonstrates the continued importance of the nation's domestic strategic issues. The UAE may have forged stronger diplomatic ties with China and Russia due to joining BRICS. It is unlikely, therefore, that it is prepared to give up its close political and strategic ties to the US. Regarding Saudi Arabia, the same may be stated. Given its close diplomatic and strategic ties to the major countries of the Global South, there has been much debate over the past year regarding the Middle East's place in the larger Indo-Pacific area. Although there are still obstacles, multilateral institutions like the enlarged BRICS could contribute to enshrining a significant role. Iran's existence is one of the main reasons to be concerned. Its intention is quite clear, it wants to utilize its standing among the BRICS as a platform for overtures to Russia and China on a diplomatic level. Iran may gain from participation if it could sell oil to China at a discount, accept payment in local currency rather than US dollars, and get Chinese investment in exchange. However, given that it is improbable that the United Arab Emirates, Brazil, South Africa, and India will back Iran's diplomatic opposition to the US, that may be the pinnacle of Iran's participation. Countries like Saudi Arabia, Brazil, India, the United Arab Emirates, South Africa, and South Africa will probably have to do a tight balancing act in opposition to China, Russia, and Iran. The former may be unable or ready to support the latter's attempts to utilize the expanded BRICS forum to pursue diplomatic and economic policies that undercut the US's standing in the world. Reworking BRICS geopolitical worldview as an organization risks putting it in a precarious diplomatic situation. To put it mildly, it is arduous to carve out a compelling geopolitical position from membership with such divergent requirements and interests. Energy will undoubtedly come out on top in all this, with Saudi Arabia and Argentina among the countries with promising economic futures. With 13 lithium projects underway, Argentina possesses the third largest lithium reserves in the world. In the meantime, Saudi Arabia made a 2.6 billion US dollars agreement in July to purchase a 10% share in the Brazilian mining company Vale. This highlights Egypt and Ethiopia. Both might serve as geostrategic cornerstones, giving China and Russia better access to Red Sea choke points. However, Ethiopia's internal instability and Egypt's massive debt load could make this more difficult. Being a member of BRICS, the UAE demonstrates the growing influence of the Global South in developing geoeconomic policies that more accurately align with the evolving global framework. Although it is good to see emerging economies gain more significant clout in international forums, several obstacles could make discussions in these groups difficult. Each BRICS member may need to pause and reflect on whether the Global South is prepared to shift the bloc's philosophy from one based on geoeconomics to one based on geopolitics to represent the effectively developing world's interests.